Yo, 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 what's going on, good people? I would like to say hello and welcome to F Your Weaknesses, where we say the F stands for forget because there may be children watching. But if you know, you know. My name is Jordan Pierce, aka Mr. No Bottom Chef, and here on F Your Weaknesses, I share with you a bunch of stories about how I should have forgot my weakness, but instead opted in for whatever reason to focus on my weakness, which ultimately led into emotional and sometimes even physical destruction. Now, I share with you these videos in hopes that you learn from me, you focus on your strengths, and you forget your weaknesses because if you focus on your weakness, all you're doing is hanging yourself emotionally, not, for, not, not physically, just emotionally. <laughs> um, but um, with that being said, let's get right into the video. So now, this story that I'm going to tell you actually happened last night, so it's fresh on my mind. Um, so last night, uh, for, those, so for those of you who don't know, I have children, two beautiful beautiful children um and my uh, oldest is in first grade yes my baby girl is in first grade as you know in first grade when you hit first grade they start ramping up the little work a little bit more you start learning a little bit more start doing addition and subtraction you started like i mean getting up there you know, doing, doing, your thing, doing, doing better things i don't know what i'm doing but doing your things right <laughs> so in first grade they start ramping up the schoolwork a little but what i do like about first grade is not only are they amping up the schoolwork they are allowing the kids time to, if they get a bad grade, a bad score on a quiz or a paper or whatever, they allow them to bring it home, allow their parents to go over it with them, and then they can retake it the next day, right? So I love that because like, giving you hard work, we're also like allowing you to like problem solve it and go over it with your parents, see if you can learn it again, you know what I mean? Regardless, my daughter, um, she came home with a bad grade and of course, like, uh, we're upset. Oh, how'd you get a bad grade? Yeah, yeah. We're not, like, killing her. Like, she's six years old. She's upset, too. We kind of understood what the type of paper it was. Anyway, she comes home, and I'm at work. I went home from work, so I can't help her. And this is important um, for later. <laughs> so I can't help her right away. So her mother starts helping her. Now, problem with that, it's not an issue, right? But it's, this is the issue here. Her mother, neither one of us, neither one of us are teachers. Me or her mother, nor are teachers. Right. Obviously, we know our kid. We know how our kid learns. Right. But our personalities are completely different. Real quick, I'm not going too in depth with it, but I encourage all of you to take the flight assessment um, or personality test, whatever you call it. However, you find out the flight assessment. Um, I believe you can go to what is it? ETAinspires.com or ETAinspires.com. I'll put it in the description. Do the flight assessment. I did. She did it. And I'm what you call a flight attendant. Just keep it cut and dry. I'm a people person. Right, I I thrive on interaction. I always try to make other people comfortable. Right, so like I'm, I guess you would kind of want that in a teacher. I don't aspire to be a teacher at all. I guess kind of what I'm doing right now is kind of teaching. But anyway, but knowing all the personality types and after going through like the assessment and stuff like that, I can assure you, my wife is a pilot. Like she straight pilot, like pilot, like to the core. She wants to get from point A to point B as straight as possible. Don't care how you feel about it. This is what I'm trying to do. This is what we trying to do. Now, that's cool. You need, you need those people in the world. However, kids necessarily don't learn like that. So I come home from work. I get in. My daughter's at the table. No, they, they're sitting on the couch and she's going over these words with her. You can tell they've been at it for some time and my, my fiance, uh, she's getting a little aggravated, right? That's just the type of person she is. She's always been this way. She's highly, highly aggravated and agitated all the time, really quickly, um, which it isn't good. And that's going to be my first point. Okay. So if you're a highly aggravated, agitated person, you get annoyed really, really fast. Nah, you're not the best person to teach or coach on anything. Right, you're short triggered, you're short tempered, right? And it's not a bad thing. Hey, personality is personality. I'm not saying she can change it. A lot of ladies are there, but there are just certain things that we should be aware of, right? So that way we can know how to handle certain situations. She's always been this way. So now she's highly aggravated and annoyed, right? Because maybe, maybe I don't know, I wasn't there, but maybe my daughter wasn't catching on as fast as she thought she should, right? Now with her being aggravated, it leads to my daughter, right? Now put the pressure on my daughter. Pressure. Daughter doesn't do well under pressure, which brings us to the next point. No kid, no kid does well under pressure. I don't think any six year old will do very well under pressure. So, her not doing well under pressure and then feeling that pressure from her mother, which is trying to help her, it just is not a, it's not a good mesh, not a good mesh at all, right? So, now 
with my daughter feeling the pressure, my fiance being very, very annoyed and aggravated now with her plus on, not to mention she had a long day at work and all that stuff. So you, you're mixing in other things, other elements um, into the situation. Now, my daughter can't focus. She can't focus because she's under pressure. She's under pressure because her mother's aggravated, which is causing her to feel pressure and her mother's talking to her kind of stern. You, you know how it be, that motherly tone when your mom say something. <laughs> Start talking through her teeth like this. <laughs> Yo, I used to hate that. But anyway. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about, right? So now she feels the pressure of her mom pressuring her into like, all right, get this work done. This is what you need to learn. So now she can't focus. So she's not really learning, right? What is my next point? Get some feet here. So she's not learning. She's not learning because she can't focus. She can't focus because she's under pressure, which is being put on her by her mother, who's aggravated and annoyed. That's why she is constantly um, feeling the pressure and not learning. She's not, she's not grasping the things she needs to grasp, right? So then, obviously, since she can't focus, now she's not focusing on the task at hand, the words, and, and memorizing them and, and figuring out what they mean. She's focused on, okay, what is my mom about to yell at me? Like, why can't I get it? Like, whatever's going through her head, right? But that's what she's focused on. She's not focused on the words, which to on from the outside. So it's like her mother, it may seem that, okay, she's not even trying. She's not even focusing on her words. She's not, but she can't focus. Like, like she, she can't focus, right? So it seems that she's not even trying. So that kind of builds up more annoyance and aggravation. Her mom just maybe yells at her a little too hard or rough. Like at this point, like I'm home, shower about to get out but i hear my daughter crying so i'm like all right that i know mom probably i know she probably yelled at her or something like that she probably talked to her a little, little stern and you know my daughter she's a she girl she don't mm, a little sweetheart so she don't really like me yell at her or something like that she can't like me i don't like being yelled at me that's my next point now my daughter's crying which she's not getting work done because she's crying she can't focus her mom's agitated obviously nothing happened everybody's mad my fiance's mad my little girl's agitated. I'm a little irritated now because I'm like, all right, like, yeah, you're her mom. Don't be talking to my daughter like that. That's my baby girl. You feel me? Like, and then and we got a two-year-old, so like he he a boy, so he just be jumping off the walls and stuff like that. So you know how that be. So she might be a little short tempered with him now because she just all around aggravated and stuff like that. So like now everybody in the family's affected because of not focusing on her strengths like she knows that's not one of her strengths to she knows she gets easily agitated right so let's just say that's her weakness right she gets easily agitated not saying her weakness is teaching because she can easily she's taught my daughter how to do things before but um i say all this to say fast forward i'll come downstairs i'm getting somewhere i'll come downstairs and um i was like all right let's take a break let's, let's go get a shower stuff like that whatever let's get washed up be ready for bed cool i'll like, we'll go over this stuff in the morning so the morning time comes. Literally, literally took me, I want to say, maybe 10, 15 minutes. 10, 15 minutes of going over things with her and like showing her a different way and a different perspective on how she can learn and memorize these words because I, I'm a people person. So like I feed off of energy and I feed off of, okay, this is how you learn or this is how you, like, I don't want you to feel no type of way. So like, let me, you know what I mean? I, I care more about like the feeling of the opposite person rather than just, okay, this is where we got to go. Like, how do you feel while we're getting there? And then maybe that'll make the process of getting there a little easier. So about 10, 15 minutes, she pretty much was confident. She like, was give or take on like one or two words, but like we kept going over in the car and stuff like that. And she was like, all right, but I wasn't stern with her. I wasn't yelling. I wasn't. I didn't give her, I didn't put no pressure on her at all, right? Just constantly affirmed her, reaffirmed her. And this is, like I said, this is not a knock on her mom. This is just how we, personalities are different. I'm just trying to give you all the visual. So my, I'm operating in my strength, I'm operating in, in in the type of personality that I, you know what I mean? Like this is in my wheelhouse. Like I can knock this out like it ain't nothing. So fast forward, baby girl goes to school, come home with a day with a hundred. Now, this is not to say that it was all me, right? Because they was added a couple, at least an hour the night before, right? They was added, so like I'm sure she learned some things then. But at the same time, boy did his thing in like 10 minutes. 
you want me to say? Clearly ain't know all these words the night before because she was crying. So obviously it wasn't going too well. 10, 15 minutes with daddy. Got my baby girl right. So that just kind of shows you how focus on your weakness could affect you and other people. And you may not even know it. Like, who knows? Like, I'm sure my, my fiance is aware that she, she knows she gets annoyed and ag agitated a lot. She was like, all right, things need to get done. Daddy's not here. I'm going to knock it out. And she could just go, like, hey, babe, look, can you take some time out and try to, that would have been the perfect thing. Cause I, all that stuff could have been avoided. Either way, she still got 100. Perfectly fine. I'm not mad at it. So uh, this video is a little lengthy today. Um, normally, I only do short videos. But... You know, I kind of wanted to give some backstory on both sides. So that's kind of why I implore you. Is that the right word? I hope that's the right word. I strongly recommend, right? <laughs> I strongly recommend that you focus on your strengths and forget your weaknesses because your weaknesses can emotionally hang you and those around you. And it sometimes can emotionally harm those around you, right? So you always want to be aware of that. Be aware of yourself. That was it. Like I said, my name is Jordan Pierce, aka no, uh, Mr. No Pilot Shelf. And um, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you gain something out of the video. Always, always, always focus on your strengths. Focus on your strengths. Forget your weaknesses because your weaknesses ain't going to do nothing but hang you emotionally. Not physically, but emotionally and mentally. Well, I'll see y'all in the next one.